hi everyone and welcome in the previous video we have covered that how we can write holding register values from our raspberry pi pico w to our remote modbus tcp device or remote modbus tcp server so our raspberry pi pico will act as a modbus tcp client and it will write or update the holding register values remotely to our remote or local modbus tcp device or server now in this video we are going to see this topic how we can read input register values in our raspberry pi pico w from remote modbus tcp device okay so in this case also our raspberry pi pico will act as a modbus tcp client it will connect with remote modbus tcp device and it will send the request to read those input register values and it will get back to us with those values so first of all we have to set up our remote modbus tcp device so for that i'm going to use modbus slave software i will go to setup slave definition and instead of holding register we have to select input register and then we will press ok here and connection and then go to connect and then our connection type is modbus tcp ip port number 502 and then we will press ok here so our remote modbus tcp server is up and running with the 10 number of input register now let me auto increment the first input register and the third input register okay now we are going to read these values in our raspberry pi pico w using micropython and thony id so let me open my thony okay now we have to write some program here so our program is ready so we will go to our github repository and then we will just copy this code okay and then we will paste it in thony now here we have to change few things so if you are using this code in your system then you have to enter your ssid and your password of your wi-fi okay we have imported the necessary library so you don't have to worry about the libraries here and then after port number 502 standard port for modbus tcp communication slave address is one so as you can see here slave address is one so as you can see here input register address is zero and register quantity is 10 so we will try to read from input register zero up to 10 quantities if you want to change the quantity or if you want to change the starting address you can change it from here so if you want to read from holding register sorry if you want to read from input register 5 then you can use here 5 and then you can use here 10 to read 10 input register and if you want just want to read 2 input register then uh, if you write here 5 then it will only give you this two values okay so i just want to read all 10 input register so i'll write 0 as a starting address and 10 as a quantity now we have to change the IP address. So I have to find IP address of my system. So command prompt IP config and here is my IP address of my system as well as this is the IP address of my remote Modbus TCP server which is running in my local system. So I will use this IP as a Modbus TCP device IP and here we are creating Modbus TCP client. Okay and then after we are reading the input register values so let me run this code and you will see the output in this shell here so let me make some space here and then we will run this script so my raspberry pi first try to connect with my wi-fi and then after it will try to read those values so you can see 173 170 and then 000 so you can see here connected to wi-fi my raspberry pi pico w ip address is this one and it is requesting data from this ip address okay now let me change this register as an auto increment and this register as an auto increment also and let me put while loop here so while one indent indent and time dot sleep and every one second i want to read the values so let me run the current script so my raspberry pi pico will read all the values at every one second and it will display the result in the shell okay so you can see 218 220 222 and you can also see the last value is also updating here
okay so this is how you can use your raspberry pi pico w to act as a modbus tcp client and it will able to read the input register values from your remote modbus tcp device or remote modbus tcp server so i hope everything is clear about this video and if you still have any questions or any doubt about this video you can ask me in the comment section you can also ask me in the telegram instagram and whatsapp all the social media platform link is in the description of this video okay so we will meet you in the next video with another topic so till then take care goodbye and thank you